Schoolie Scouts. I have some news. It's pretty big news, but first I wanted to show you this. I recently went back and watched a bunch of old videos when I was kicking around the country in the winter, like the early part of 2020. It was chilly, I'm not gonna lie. You know, back when we didn't even, we didn't even know about coronavirus. Remember that? Because the glow plugs were too cold. It seemed like I was constantly unable to start the bus. Diesel engines in winter don't really mix. Couldn't get the bus started. Almost. I was blaming it on the glow plugs, the cold. And I remember somebody suggesting that maybe it was the batteries. And I was like, oh, oh no, 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 it's not, it's not the batteries. It wasn't until later in 2020, right before I hit the road for the first time after the lockdown, that we went to Assateague, remember, down in Maryland? And that's when I really figured out the battery thing. This battery is more junk than that one. And now I know that the batteries were actually the problem. It's amazing how sure I was that it wasn't the batteries until all of a sudden I knew it was. Learn from my mistakes. I have these deep cycle starting batteries now. I haven't been having any problems since then. In fact, I used to think that you couldn't start this bus if you didn't have 13 volts, but I started the other day at like, well, the other day, a couple weeks ago at like 12.6 volts. And sometimes I tend to sit here for a while, you know, like right now, I haven't driven the bus in a couple of weeks. I've, I've just got so much going on inside. I'm, I, I don't mean inside for me. I mean, well, that too, but inside the bus because I have it all torn up, you know, because I'm doing different things. I'm, I finally got the fridge figured out how I'm going to attach it and everything. But there's some other things, too, and things are pretty disrupted. So I haven't really gone anywhere. Well, I, I've gone places, but I take the car. And I should remember to start Max every so often, but I usually don't. I usually forget. So I have a battery saver. It's this thing here. The plug comes out here, and I use an extension cord to run it into the house. At least that's what I have done for the past year. But now I got this thing. It's a solar battery saver. It does the same thing, but it has its own little solar panel. And I'm gonna install it today. Using the word install pretty loosely, I guess, because this is all you gotta do. Clip here, clip here. Now you put the panel on the hood of the car and you aim it at the sun and that's it, it's installed. I like having it, it definitely extends the battery life. And um, lately I'm all about solving problems before they're problems. At least that's, I try. I can't always do it, but I try. And that's why I'm using this, because see, I'm not gonna be able to plug into the house too much longer. And if you've been watching for a while, you're probably more familiar with my dilemma than you even want to be. I take care of my mom, and she, she hasn't been interested in leaving this house. When I got here, it was supposed to be temporary. She wanted to stay in the house until Katie, her cat, passed away. Well, Katie's been gone for two years, and Mom says, oh, I never said that. So I'm still here. And you know, we've been having a good time. I mean, I enjoy your company and it's been, I'm glad to be here for her, but it's been hard, you know, because this isn't exactly my life. You know, it's not what I thought I'd be doing. I didn't get a house with wheels on it so I could leave it in a driveway, you know. I've, I've taken a few trips and it has crossed my mind to be honest that I could just like not come back from one, but I, I wouldn't do that. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad to be here for her. I like being here for her. But also, I, I felt like me being here was kind of like enabling my mom to be pretty isolated, you know? If I hadn't come, she probably would have had to go to assisted living and she would have met people, she would have made friends, she would have had things to do, you know? She wouldn't be bored and depressed. I'm pretty conflicted about all that because last year was not the year to be out and about and in a facility, especially when you're 83. But I really felt like, like when I see her around people her own age, she just kind of lights up. And I wanted her to have that, but she didn't want to go. She wasn't really hearing me. It was like me and the battery, right? She was so sure it wouldn't work. And it's not about the house itself, because she said she's kind of over this house. It's not the same without my dad. I'm not attached to this place. She, she's not anymore either. My siblings really aren't either, at least the ones that are local. I have one brother who's a little bit attached. I just felt like we're both stuck. She's stuck because she's bored and can't participate in anything, and I'm literally stuck here. And I didn't know what the solution would be. But now I do. And now we get to the big news. My mom decided a couple of weeks ago that she was ready, that she would be safer and probably happier if she went to live somewhere else. So October 1st, she moves into assisted living. I was planning in January to take a trip, 
but uh, this is more than a trip. I'm not gonna be able to plug into the house anymore because the house is gonna be gone. It's not gonna be my mother's house anymore. It's not gonna be my family home. I will probably will stay in the area when it's warm and then when it's cold, I'll be someplace else. And I'll still make sure that I get to see her a lot. And unless she gets so integrated in the community there that she doesn't even miss me, and which would be fantastic, honestly. It really would. I have to sell her house and get rid of everything in it, which is not a small task because she's lived here for 55 years. By the end of the year, uh, or beginning of next year, I expect to be back in the bus, like full time on the road again. Yeah, change, change, change is, change is good. And here's a change for you, if you're not a subscriber. Why don't you hit that button? Hit the little bell. Join the family. Join the Schoolie Scouts. Okay, see you next time.